The state government is in the middle of deciding whether to shut down Australia's biggest wind farm. Planning Minister Matthew Guy is examining reports that claim a wind farm north of Ballarat has breached noise standards. Cheryl Hall reports. It's almost three years since Carl and Samantha Stepnell decided they couldn't live on their farm at Warbra. Since then, they've travelled the 30 kilometres from Ballarat to work under the turbines they say make them sick. They famously gave evidence at a Senate inquiry last year. It's very disturbing. Um. Sorry about this. The Stepnells are one of a number of families around regional Australia who say they've abandoned their homes because they're too close to wind turbines. Ear pressure, you know, headaches, you know, um, as soon as we, we leave, it's, it's gone. And, you know, and when the turbines aren't operating, we're fine. The Senate inquiry recommended a wide-ranging health study be undertaken into the alleged health effects. But a year on, no official investigation has started. The Stepnells have decided to do their own acoustic testing. We have in this graph a series of very distinct and noticeable patterns. And this is the thing that appears to be present at the properties where people are affected. This is the only way that we can prove that it is non-compliant is mm. to get Bob Thorne and Steve Cooper mm. and the experts in, you know, at our place mm. and do the testing because it's, it's been in full operation for three years, this wind farm, and it still hasn't had the tick of approval from the state government. And it is measuring the noise as it's occurring in real time. Stephen Cooper has tested 17 homes in Victoria, South Australia and New South Wales. There are communities that are identifying they're having to leave their homes, they're identifying they're affected by the turbines, even though on a DBA basis under the criteria, it's all OK. We need to look to see whether the criteria is appropriate. His findings have been presented to recent public meetings around regional Victoria, organised by Ballarat Senator John Madigan. I've done this so that I could go out and uh, listen to people's concerns, whether they're for or against. What I continually hear is now, you know, people use the word hysterical, but um, I would have thought it would be better to put our energy in, instead of accusing people of being hysterical to get on and do the research. But the industry says the information is not reliable. I think certainly some of the information being made available publicly, uh, I think it is a little bit misinformed. I don't think it's necessarily a source from the credible experts. As I said, many of these factors are quite technical in nature. They're quite complicated in nature. The Victorian government is now examining several reports, including one from acoustic engineer Bob Thorne, who claims the turbines are not meeting noise standards. I've had conflicting reports. I've actually had reports that show that it uh, breached it, and I wrote to the wind farm and said, fix it or we'll shut the turbines down. Uh, there were some changes, and again, we had another report that was presented to us which showed that they were then in uh, compliance with their permit conditions, and now I have another one saying there isn't compliance. So what we do have is some confusion around permit compliance. The minister has written to Samantha and Carl Stepnell saying if conditions are not being met, the government will have no hesitation to close a turbine down until issues are rectified. And that work that we've done in collaboration with the government has shown that the project is compliant uh, with noise regulations. I can't understand uh, how this mystery report can show that we're not compliant. A decision to shut down turbines would delight the Stepnells but caused serious concerns in the wind industry. We were given assurances by the Minister and by the Victorian Government that the new two kilometre buffer uh, approach uh, would not be retrospective uh, and would not apply to wind farms that are, that are already in operation. And if they were, then, then that would obviously be a, be a very serious issue for companies and investors. I would urge the Minister to resolve this issue quickly. I think it's very important for, uh, for our financiers for the community at Warborough, for our workforce, uh, for all of the businesses around Warborough and Ballarat that rely on this investment. The Stepnells are highly critical of Axiona and say they've not responded to their ongoing complaints. Axiona says they now have outstanding complaints from only seven households in the area. 
I don't say that any individual family is making up an issue, it's just a question of whether or not that issue is real. Why would you want to make something like this up, mm. you know? Mm. You know, if there was no problem, we wouldn't be sitting here today, we wouldn't be doing testing. Mm. All we want is our, our life back on the farm. Mm.